We're told that every rope or cord has a maximum tension that it can withstand before breaking, of course. Um, investigate how a ski lift works and explain how it can safely move a large number of passengers of different masses uphill um, during peak hours without the cord that carries the chairs breaking. Well, yeah, a ski lift is basically just a cable um, with uh, chairs attached to it. And there's um, a couple things that um, um, are in, of importance to this. And I'll kind of try to draw some of them here. Is that there's basically obviously a second cable um, running parallel to this one, to the one with the um, going up that's coming back down. And up at the top here, there's basically an, a huge wheel that's driven by a motor um, that engages with this cable and draws it around and pulling it. So it basically makes a loop. And then there's another huge wheel down here that um, wraps the cable around. Um, only one of these is driving the cable and, and it's the one at the top. Okay, so this one is powered, this one is just free. And then to keep tension in the cable, um, they basically usually hang a, um, a huge weight over a pulley here so that it pulls on this. And um, basically no matter what, uh, how the cable is moving, you will maintain the same tension on it because this weight can move up and down um, and adjust as the uh, cable tension adjusts as you have different different weights on it from however many people are riding up and however many um, chairs you have coming down. So there's nothing really special that I can see about um, the uh, design of a ski lift um, for keeping the tension in this these cables minimized um, other than Basically, I think they just use really strong cables um, and, you know, very thick and also kind of probably uh, ropes of them um, so that you have enough uh, that has enough strength um, to uh, prevent it from breaking. Now, what I, so I think they just use really strong cables. Now, one thing they could do, but I've never seen this. Um, is put an inter intermediate motor, say, um, in here that would, um, that would be driven so that you would have a, um, you'd have less tension in, in this span up here because you'd have a force acting to, um, pull this cable and to push this cable. Um, but I've never seen that, so I think they just use really strong cables and they make sure that the cable is strong enough to to, to um, carry whatever maximum load they can anticipate, plus some margin of safety, which they probably they probably design it to carry two or three times as much load as they might anticipate there ever being on the on the cable.